Welcome back to another video and today we'll be reviewing the Emperor Vector. This vehicle came out with the Los Santos Tuners DLC and this vehicle is a prime vehicle due to how popular the real life variant which is the Lexus RCF is in real life. Now most people are liking this vehicle because they're saying this vehicle actually has a two-sided thing to it it's called you can go from a lexus to a brz on the front end side which is kind of weird but that uh, rocks i did include that and i will touch on that later so driving the vehicle you can see that the vehicle is already low like touching the ground low and you can actually go lower because this is a stick a newer vehicle you can actually put the stand to make it even lower so on the vehicle, you definitely see that, well if you know GTA 1, you know that lowering the vehicle does not affect the performance. So that's the only thing I would do that, just lowering it like this. So it doesn't affect the performance at all, but uh, actually stenting the vehicle would actually be a speed boost. Kind of weird, but lowering it by suspension does not deter deteriorate the performance so with that out of the way driving the vehicle you definitely feel a strong presence of it being full of drive now this vehicle does not clutch kick in the way that you think it would you you could clutch get this vehicle by actually doing it the regular way which is just hitting the uh, being in second gear and then hitting the handbrake and then going back on the gas immediately you'd actually see it spit fire and the engine would rev up but i'm not feeling the boost as strong as i would like to or as other vehicles As I said before, this vehicle has two front ends. One that makes it look like a BRZ, Subaru BRZ or Cyan FRS, or whichever one you like or prefer. Now, or the Lexus, which is primarily based off, but that's only in the front. So now, most people I see, they're trying to go for the BRZ front end. But I went for the Lexus front end. I will put up pictures just to show you. So on my car, I actually have carbon fenders, carbon rear fenders, carbon roof, carbon hood, and a black secondary color to fill up the gap on the intake vent right there. So that intake vent is not carbon. So I'm actually not that pleased with the, the build because Stance being the most popular thing in the car culture right now, it's not very necessarily new, unique. Now, it being so common leads me to think, what if I took the fenders off of this car and then see if, if it looks better. But everything else I love about the vehicle, you can see that the motor is actually paint matched to the outside of the car, which is not common not not uncommon but it's still good it's a nice detail even though most people won't see the motor until they blow the hood off this thing well uh yeah decent trunks face that matters to you guys uh, yeah so let me get into the point what I, what the car would look like without the carbon fenders before I get to that, I actually recommend you guys just to wait until you get the this vehicle becomes a lucky prize challenge. Do not buy the vehicle when it comes first comes out. It's a waste of money. Now the vehicle right now, I want you guys to go down in the comment section, right? And tell me if you prefer the first look or this look. I would definitely change the vehicle based on who, pref like what 
look wins. I definitely don't mind. And it's definitely not a problem for me to go back and change it. I'd love to see that involvement. And I definitely take you guys' opinions in in hand. So I definitely look value that. And I definitely want to see which one would look. The snare's look or this look. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.